Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I am in my home office today recording a couple of videos for YouTube about video stuff. And uh, this is kind of where I do a lot of these videos. It's where I work from uh, nothing to fancy. I, uh, at some point, will probably build out a whole backdrop for it. But right now I'm trying to keep it simple. Um, because we're gonna be talking about white balance and color, um, this is obviously me uh, <laughs> with a green t-shirt on and I do have a small bit of light. I have a big kind of LED panel uh, just above my computer monitors. It's got a remote control. So I usually keep it on this level, which is level two. Uh, this is the next level up. I think it's a little bit uh, too bright. So I'm gonna put it down there. So the lighting on me is very, very subtle, uh, not much at all. And this is kind of the natural color. Now, by default, when you connect a webcam into OBS and you're looking at my OBS panel now, uh, it's gonna be using automatic white balance. And I just did a video on using a uh, white balance card. These are super, super cheap things you can pick up from eBay or AliExpress. They just contain three different colors, black, gray, and white. White's the one that I've been using. And uh, on my camcorder, the Canon Vixia HFR800, uh, you can go in and do a custom white balance. So I thought, you know what, as I've done that, uh, let's give that a shot on the webcam. So uh, what you're looking at right now is my OBS and me in auto. Now, in order to adjust um, the white balance on your webcam in OBS, you wanna click on your webcam, then click down into the properties cogwheel. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see by default, uh, you've got this white, white balance temperature auto, and this is ticked by default. So watch what happens as soon as I untick this, it's gonna go haywire and the automatic white balance has been taken off. Now I look all orange. Uh, so the colors have dramatically gone wrong here. So what you can do is hold up a white balance card and get it to obscure your lens. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky to do this uh, without getting shadows, but you can even just kind of judge by the center. Then you can manually play around. Now to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing like a uh, plug-in for uh, for doing this. In other words, that you could, like my Canon camcorder has, that I can hold up white and say, this is white, set every color in reference to it. Um, but what I'm gonna do instead is, there is this manual dial here for white balance temperature. As you can see, we're currently set at 4,000 uh, Kelvin. So what I'm gonna do now is hold up the light, the white, and I'm gonna just use manually adjusting until I feel like I've got it looking as it should look. So now we're down to um, 3,012 uh, Kelvin and it's already starting to look a lot more normal. Uh, but you can just keep going with this process and I'm trying not to get the light on it. So let's say I go all the way down here now, it's start, the background colors are looking strange and this isn't looking particularly white. Uh, but you can just play around with this until you feel like what you're seeing on your screen replicates the color of the white balance card you're, you're using. I'm gonna leave it here at 2886, and it looks pretty decent to me. Um, I think I look a small bit less um, unnaturally red than I did at the start of this video, but the differences are gonna be pretty small. Uh, so that's what you can do. Um, obviously, if you're doing this in um, non-artificial non lighting conditions uh, where you don't have to worry about reflections on the card, I guess this would be easier, uh, but I've used this process a couple of times to make sort of small adjustments to the white balance. Um, and just remember that once you have taken it off, auto white balance is gonna stay that way. So if you wanna go back to using automatic white balance, go back into your webcam settings and uh, change it to that. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon.